Hi, my name is Jacob Alwong and I'm here to share the tragedy that rocked my village on 23rd of January 2022. My village is called Baidit. It's a small uh, village in Jongol Estate. Baidit was attacked on the 23rd by the cattle uh, raiders. It's a small village uh, in Jongol. We are a group of pastors. We keep cattle and we also farm like everyone else. So we were attacked and I had to drive on the 24th to go to the area. This fighting lasted for 45 minutes and many people were left dead. So I left in the morning to drive in the area to go and see uh, the loved ones, those who were killed and those who were injured, to first see where, where I, I can help and to mourn with them and to help part of the people. So when I arrived to the area, I saw a horrible scene, houses were burned, uh, sleeping items were burned into the houses, goats were just burned also in, as you can see, uh, it was a horrible scene, uh, you know, the, the intention was to raid kettles and abduct children, they are also known for abducting children, so they raided all the kettle until calf like this were left behind, uh, the mothers were taken. The scene was horrifying. Birds were flying low with the appetite to feed on the dead bodies. But the dead bodies were protected. Some of them were laying there and some of them were collected the following day. So when I arrived, I joined our cousins, our brothers to bury our dear brothers and sisters who were lost in the, in the attack. They were t uh, in this uh, in that attack we lost 32 people among them were women and children children were driven into the nile west of the village they did not know how to swim so they ran into the nile uh, without knowing and they were carried away by the current and died there uh, and these men were killed also while defending the area. It was a shock to everyone. Uh, but uh, that is what happened. Like I said earlier, cattle raiding is not new in the area among the cattle keeping communities. Yes, it is not new, but we need, we need that practice to stop. We need it to stop for us to live a better life. Uh, yes, it may not stop alone. Someone need to invest in it. Government need to invest in it to protect all communities and possibly disarm uh, all the communities and also put some barrier between the communities to prevent future attacks like this was a tragedy, the government officials came in, the neighboring communities came in to come and mourn with us. Um, and yes, they promised that they will provide a protection, protection force. Uh, that is what happened on 23rd and on 24th. It was a uh, tragedy, it was uncalled for, I was angry at the attackers, but I also looked at the bigger picture. What is the solution? I walk away from the scene with one question in, in my mind. How can we stop this? How can we stop it as people, as a country and as a government? 